Hi everyone, thanks again for coming back to Sealed for Good. Great to have you here. Today I'm talking about floating screeds on external wet areas. This comes up frequently in discussion points and there's a lot of misunderstanding in the marketplace. I've been talking to a lot of waterproofers this year and surprised about how many guys are still putting screeds on balconies or tilers putting screeds on balconies but not knowing the standard. Now if you've got a concrete slab and you've got your membrane down you can lay your screed onto the membrane. However, on a structural sheet flooring, you are supposed to have your screed on a slip sheet, so it's not bonded to the membrane system. And our friends over in New Zealand do this really well because over there, you're not allowed to do it on any balcony. You must actually have a decoupling system over the membrane, which makes really good sense because if there's any issues later on, you take the tile off, you take the decoupling system off and the membrane's intact. So this principle is solid and valid, but how many of you know how to do this? And it's an important one because you have to understand that you've got a screed and it's only there to help guide the water to the drain and the falls. However, on a structural sheet flooring, like let's talk about Skyon, all those sorts of compressed fibre cement sheeting systems that are used for balcony areas, tiling is still the choice flooring system but the screed is under a lot of duress because of the movement. And a screed essentially, if you look at it on the Australian standard, is a three to one to a five to one sand cement mix. Now, it's meant to be reinforced with a mesh. I'll always tell you that you should use an additive like the Gripset 11Y because it stopped the shrinkage, which is what our 11Y does. It enhances the strength, the compressive strength, but it also acts as a second line of defense because it reduces the water absorption. It does give you a water resistant property to it. So it's a very cost effective way to put good additives into a screed, but refer back to the standard. Okay, it's quite clear on how to do that. Now, AS3958.1 for tilers, and also AS4654.2, I believe it is, with how to construct balconies, there's a reference point. And don't get caught out, even though you might use a fantastic engineered screed. There's some large adhesive companies that have got really good pre bag screed mixes that you can use. But if the standard says it needs to be a floating screed, it needs to be a floating screed. Now that normally is a sheet of plastic that goes over the top of the membrane, then you lay your screed down and how you actually seal around the perimeters. Now you're going in an over and under system or just under only. But plan it out, understand what's there, and if you have a waterproofer, and you are leaving your work and you're not involved with the screed, you should still put that question to your client so they understand what is required. Because someone could come and do the work after you and could compromise your waterproofing system and then you've got issues later down the track with the tiler, the waterproofer, the builder, everyone comes in. We want to eliminate these situations. So plan it out properly from the start and understand what the requirement is. If you're a tiler and you are quoting on a job and you're not involved with the waterproofing, still need to understand then what the heights are and we go back to what the requirements are and the set downs and these are the critical things which go wrong with balconies it's not so much the laying of the membrane it's actually the design and the process of planning it out are the set downs correct with the right heights are the falls correctly to the drains and how are the drains set up in terms of are they strip drains at the edge of the balcony or they've got the traditional leak control flange it could be in, in, the, in the balcony floor but these are all things about, I'm not here to tell you you've got to use the grip set systems for this. This is about planning your balcony waterproofing job out and understanding the screed. Now, if you've got a job where the falls are being produced or formed in the actual flooring itself and you've got the correct falls, then you don't need to worry about the screed system over the top. But it's always, it always pays to check, plan it out, plan twice, cut once, like a good rabbi told me once. We'll see you next time on Silver Good.